Good morning, Mice Place. All still quiet at the Corris Railway. Everything's locked up. Everything's quiet. Apart from all the birds. But we're going for a walk. Down the valley to where the extension is being built. And down to the head of steel at the moment, which is followed by the construction site with all the familiar goalposts and warning tapes. This is the lorry loading and turning area that's been constructed. And then we're off down the ramp to the base of the embankment. I am of course filming this when there's nobody else around to make sure that we're all isolated. So we're now coming down to the level of the valley floor. The railway will continue alongside the road there, but the road was widened a few years ago, which led to the railway formation being taken away. And that's the reason for us having to construct this embankment and deviation careful as we climb down onto the claggy clay soils we have various pieces of plant machinery down here and a pallet and a half left of steel gabions There's an upper access road here and a lower access road. The upper access road is being used to fill the gabions, which, as you can see, has been completed on the first level over this past week. Plenty of gabions with lots of rock. To form the foot of the new embankment. Formation then continues on with a slight curve inwards because the next thing we have, next obstacle we have to overcome is this.
This is going to extreme. Coming through the culvert with its wing walls. However, it isn't quite wide enough to accommodate the railway formation on the top of the uh, existing bridge structure, so that's going to have to be extended, and that's what we're going to be raising funds for next in line because that's quite a large engineering job that needs to be done. Then once we're across there, you can see some slate waste that was acquired that has been tipped in residence. This section doesn't require as much gabion walling works at the bottom because it's got a wider floodplain. But the land all the way to the river is owned by the railway. But we're not allowed to remove any of the uh, any more of the floodplain due to an increasing flooding risk. So uh, there we are. That's what we've been working on. During lockdown. To try and get the railway back. Along the top of this embankment. To be able to progress south. Towards... And we walk back up the bank to the loading area. And look back and see along the right hand side where the railway will continue in parallel with the road.